Sergei Rizhikov and Alexei Zubritsky, Russian cosmonauts, have accomplished a feat that was once thought to be pure science fiction, the cultivation of flawless gallium arsenide crystals in open space. This achievement marks a first in the history of human space exploration. The experiment, conducted in October 2025 during a spacewalk outside the International Space Station, became a milestone in both material science and space manufacturing. By harnessing the clean vacuum of space and the conditions of zero gravity, the team demonstrated that semiconductor materials can be grown with a precision impossible to achieve on Earth. The findings of this groundbreaking experiment, named Ekron M, could transform the future of solar energy, microelectronics, and the orbital manufacturing industry. The Russians designed the Ekran M experiment specifically to advance the science of semiconductor materials. It relies on a technique known as molecular beam epitaxy, a process installed on the Nauka science module of the International Space Station. This sophisticated method involves directing beams of atoms toward a substrate, forming thin crystalline layers under carefully controlled conditions. The molecular beam epitaxy method enables the creation of ultra-pure, ultra-thin group 3-5 semiconductors, including gallium arsenide. Performing this experiment in outer space offers two unique advantages, the near-perfect vacuum and the absence of gravitational convection. Even in the most sterile laboratories on Earth, gravity-driven movements cause impurities and micro-defects. In space, those disturbances vanish, allowing scientists to cultivate crystals with atomic-level precision and near-perfect purity. The Ekron M unit was installed outside the Nauka module during a spacewalk performed by cosmonauts Rizhikov and Zubritsky on October 16, 2025. Semiconductor cassettes were placed inside the system, where crystal growth took place over several days. Using molecular beams, gallium and arsenic atoms were deposited layer by layer inside a drum-like vacuum chamber. To retrieve the containers holding the newly formed crystals, the crew conducted a second spacewalk on October 29th, two weeks later. Upon examination, the samples revealed flawless crystal structures proving that molecular beam epitaxy works effectively in microgravity. Russian scientists hailed this as a proof of concept for semiconductor manufacturing in space, a major step toward future orbital factories capable of producing ultra-pure materials for high-tech applications. The success of Ekron M depends on how microgravity influences atomic behavior. On Earth, Mechanical vibrations, impurities, and convection currents disturb crystal formation. In space, those distortions disappear entirely. As a result, gallium arsenide atoms align perfectly on the substrate, forming ideal lattice structures that are free from imperfections. This perfection is vital because the purity of the crystal directly affects the performance of solar cells, photonics, and high-frequency electronic systems. Space-grown gallium arsenide could lead to solar panels with record efficiency and sensors capable of operating under intense radiation, both crucial for defense and space exploration. The ekran m system employs molecular beam epitaxy by directing atomic beams of gallium and arsenic toward a substrate in an ultra-high vacuum. The atoms condense one by one, building a single crystal according to a precise atomic blueprint. The greatest advantage of molecular beam epitaxy lies in its cleanliness and control. Scientists can monitor and adjust every atomic layer with subatomic precision, ensuring perfect alignment of atoms. On Earth, even minute mechanical vibrations or gas impurities make such precision difficult to maintain. In orbit, the natural vacuum creates ideal conditions for forming materials with unmatched structural stability and uniformity. For decades, gallium arsenide has been recognized as one of the most important materials in high-speed and high-efficiency electronics. Unlike silicon, it offers superior electron mobility, radiation resistance, and sensitivity to light. Today, it is used in high-frequency communication equipment, satellite systems, and solar panels that power spacecraft. 
the applications of Ekron M extend even further. Space grown gallium arsenide could enhance terahertz and microwave components, quantum communication systems, photonics, and radiation resistant circuits. The ability to grow such materials in orbit could give Russia, and ultimately all of humanity, a significant edge in next generation electronics and energy systems. Another major benefit of Ekron M is environmental. Semiconductor manufacturing on Earth is among the most resource intensive and polluting industrial processes. Conducting these processes in orbit could drastically reduce their environmental footprint by moving production away from Earth. The natural vacuum of space eliminates the need for chemical solvents, and toxic byproducts can be neutralized or recycled beyond the planet. This points toward a cleaner, sustainable model of extraterrestrial industry. More than just a scientific milestone, Ekronem's success represents a step toward industrialization in orbit. By producing high-purity semiconductors outside Earth's atmosphere, Russia has shown that autonomous space factories are feasible. Future orbital stations could host machines capable of creating not only gallium arsenide wafers, but also gallium nitride, silicon carbide, and other advanced materials essential for electronics and photonics. These facilities could become self-sustaining ecosystems powered by solar energy. At present, no other country has conducted a large-scale semiconductor crystal growth experiment in space. While the United States, China, and Europe have explored microgravity materials science, none have demonstrated operational molecular beam epitaxy systems beyond Earth. This accomplishment positions Russia at the forefront of orbital materials research, combining its deep experience in solid-state physics with its legacy in cosmonautics. However, it is important to clarify that Ekron M is not designed to produce sub-nanometer chips. Creating such chips requires an entire ecosystem of Earth-based technologies, including extreme ultraviolet lithography, multi-step etching, precise doping, and massive semiconductor fabrication plants. For now, these remain confined to Earth. Instead, Ekron M focuses on producing flawless raw semiconductor materials of extraordinary purity. Epitaxial films grown in microgravity contain far fewer defects and impurities than those created in even the cleanest terrestrial laboratories. This leads to devices that are more durable, efficient, and robust. Space-grown crystals may revolutionize solar panels by boosting efficiency and radiation tolerance. They could also advance photonic and laser components used in communication systems, remote sensing, radar, and defense applications. The true contribution of Ekron M lies at the very foundation of the semiconductor value chain. By perfecting the crystal, the fundamental building block of all electronic and photonic devices, the experiment strengthens the base for future breakthroughs in microelectronics, energy systems, and advanced materials science. Yet challenges remain. Orbital semiconductor manufacturing is still in its infancy. Ekran M currently produces only small samples, not industrial scale batches. Scaling up would require advanced automation and extensive orbital infrastructure. Furthermore, the crystals must eventually be transported back to Earth for processes like lithography and packaging, which adds cost and complexity. Even with these limitations, Ekron M symbolizes the dawn of a new industrial paradigm, one where space itself becomes a production ground for next-generation materials. The knowledge gained from this project will help develop semiconductors, biomaterials, alloys, and nanostructures in orbit. As Russia's experiment demonstrates, space can serve not only as a laboratory, but as a sustainable industrial platform, bridging science and commerce. In conclusion, the flawless gallium arsenide crystals cultivated by Rizhikov and Zubritsky in October 2025 are more than a scientific triumph. They symbolize a future where material perfection is achieved beyond Earth. Ekran M has proven that molecular beam epitaxy can operate in the vacuum of space, producing materials of unmatched clarity and precision. While it will not directly yield sub-nanometer chips, it establishes Russia as a leader 
in space-enabled materials science. The implications go beyond technology. They envision a sustainable off-world industry, allowing humanity to expand its innovation frontier while preserving Earth's environment. In essence, the Ekron M experiment represents the ignition of an orbital industrial revolution, one that could define the next century of human progress, science, and technology. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us